Welcome back to the heart of Atlanta, Georgia at the OTE Arena for some more overtime elite basketball. I'm excited to bring you this matchup. We got RWE against Rolling Loud. I couldn't be more excited to bring you this star-studded matchup. It's Black History Month. It's your boy, Sniper Jones, and I'm joined by my guy, Cam Wilder. What's good, bro? What up, man? You I'm, straight? I'm good, bro. We seen some basketball. Now it's time to watch some more basketball. Yeah, Start man. Off. I'm excited, man. RWE in the building. You know how that go. Hey, man. You know how RWE. that go, man. Daquan Davis, Carter Knox, head, two headliners of RWE, even though Sompto and Big Nate are out. But um, Carter Knox and, and uh, Daquan are going to carry us to that championship. You feel championship? Me, yeah, to, you, you heard me. Did you say championship? You heard me, the championship. Okay. I, you know, I, I just got to make sure my, my ears don't deceive me. Look, man, if they click in, there's, it's gonna, they're going to be hard to stop, especially when we get when we get our two injured guys back. Uh, we're going to make some noise. You know what I'm saying? We're going to – everybody's going to get clicking. Everybody's going to get right. We're going to get healthy. We're going to make a run. Hey, look, man, I'm going to tell you like this. This is one of the best backcourts in the league, and I have to mention, because I don't think it gets talked about enough, Daquan Davis came in this league compared to a Marcus Smart. But in actuality, he's a bucket getter. 17.6 rebounds at the point guard position. Insane, not to mention two steals. And don't get me started on Carter Knox. He plays both sides of the ball. And in my opinion, I don't think he get enough credit for it, man. I ain't going to hold you. But on the other side, you got some buckets over there too, though, man. Larry Johnson. That boy Larry Johnson. He's a problem. I tried to get him in the summer for AAU, and I really could uh, Larry Johnson, he's been averaging about 20 points a game his last five games. Um, he's picking up the slack on the rolling loud side, even though the record doesn't show that you got a lot, you got a lot of bright spots over there. Larry Johnson, Nazir Cunningham. Um, they're going to look to make some noise. Hopefully, RWB can stop Larry Johnson because recently he's been looking unstoppable. Hey, man, I'm Davis put me on to Larry Johnson. We was watching the game. He told me pay attention. The layup package, the yeah. athleticism, yeah. the shooting ability. He take high IQ shots. He got five games with 20 plus points, and he's the seventh leading scorer in the entire league. This kid is headed to Creighton. He's gonna play some big major division one basketball. And if you're watching this game, you're immediately gonna attach your eyes to this kid right here. Yeah. He's a bucket. Excited to see him play. Without with all that being said, let's get into the starting lineup for RWE. He's the point guard making it all happen. Number five, Daquan Davis. The McDonald's All-American, Carter Knox. The sharpshooter, number 24, Jaden Wilkins. He's headed to Georgia Tech. Number 10, Darius Sutton. And the big man, headed to Mizzou. Number six, Peyton Marshall. Now for Rolling Loud. The big man, number 32, Nico Kojo. Number three, Alabama commit, Nasir Cunningham. Number 10, he calls himself Sip Shifty Jesus, Martin Somerville, the sharp shoot, Dominic Stewart. Last but not least, the Creighton commit, number two, Larry Johnson. Us to introduce our third member of the broadcast. Overtime time for the Adidas face-off. Tom, take it away. Thanks, Snipe. I'm down here with the Quan Davis of the RWE. We got Larry Johnson from Rolling Loud. Larry, man, you guys had a big win last week against Jelly Man. What do we got to do to take down RWE? Just play defense, play hard, just finish the game. And Quan, we got Bradley Beal here at courtside, which I'm sure we're going to show in a little bit. You heard me, Brad? What, what do you have to say to you? Wait, wait, repeat it? Bradley Beal, he's here. <laughs> Yeah. Have you ever met him before? What did he say to you? Oh, yeah, I met him before. He said, keep going when I gave his team, like, 30. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully Quan can put on another show for Bradley Beal. Larry as well. We are rolling loud against RWE. Can't wait for this one, fellas. Cam Wilder and Snipe, take it away, guys. Let's do it. Hey, you get my team 30. I ain't telling you to keep going. I'm telling you stop. Yo, literally. Yeah, stop. Stop and then, going. I, and then I'm recruiting you after. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah, man. Don't give me 30 and think I'm going to give you words of encouragement. Yeah, no way. I'm going to say, hey, kid, you suck. Okay? But I can't lie, though. Daquan might have the coldest Asian Zero Gilbert Arenas Adidas I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, what are those? Hard. Those are hard. Those are tough. I've never seen that colorway before, bro. I've been
it's so Sharp shooting Dominic Stewart. No favorite player, Nas Cunningham. Jump shot no good. Rebound by no other than Daquan Davis. Coming in averaging six rebounds a game at the point guard position. This team. He's a baby. And one. They coming out with way more energy, Cam, than the last game. Yeah, I like to see this. This is how RW play basketball right here. Oh, yeah. This is how they play basketball oh, yeah. right here, man. Look at that. Oh, he's a baby. That's a crazy size advantage. You know what they say when you jump up in the air like that? Pop talk. Pop talk. Pop talk. Pop talk. Pop talk. Uh, Pop talk. Caught a bird. Pop talk. Peyton Marshall, originally from, from Kansas, moved here to Georgia not too far after. Martin Summerville with the ball. Well, he, got, he might have the toughest nickname in OTE. The self-proclaimed Shifty Jesus. Shifty Jesus. Yeah, it's just crazy. That's good. I'm locking that up. Hey, now, with a name like Shifty Jesus, though, you got to back it up every time. Yeah, that's locked. Tender. Okay, okay. Which, which name is more insane? Shifty Jesus or Red Mama? Red Mama. Okay. No. Okay. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. Big P about to eat down there. Yeah. It, it's just, he's, just, he's too small, man. He's too small. I'm sorry. Number 32, Nico. I don't think he's a match for Big Payne Marshall. No Miles Goodman tonight. He's usually man in the paint. Oh. Pass no good by Nas Cunningham. They're pushing the break. Daquan Davis with the ball. These RWE jerseys looking nice tonight. They hard, huh? They are. I mean, they got the best jerseys in the bed. That's man. cap, man. You already you just said the Diamond Tusk was better last game, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Did I? That was me. Yeah, that was you. Oh, wow. We got you a 4K. Man. Oh. Oh, oh big team. Oh, big team. I was still looking like Zay Flowers. That's a Oh, my, no, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad. Zay Flowers would have caught that. <laughs> then he would have caught it, and then fumbled. Yeah, Damn. that was crazy. Today is the start of Black History Month. Join OTE as we honor the rich tapestry of black history, culture, and achievements. The Black History Month, let's come together to celebrate, educate, and inspire. It was Carter G. Woodson, the father of black history who first set out in 1926 to designate a time to promote and educate about black history and culture. He designated the second week of February as Negro History Week and galvanized fellow historians. By the late 1960s, thanks in part to the Civil Rights Movement and a growing awareness of black identity, Negro History Week had evolved into Black History Month on many college campuses. 50 years after the first celebrations, President Gerald Ford officially recognized Black History Month in 1976. Today, Black History Month is a time to honor the contributions and legacy of African Americans across the U.S. and society. There is no American history without African American history. Birthday to Coach Frazier celebrated his birthday earlier this week. Played some college ball at St. Louis University. Also coached under Coach Lato, who's actually back in action, coaching for the Cohorts. He got a few, he got, he got a few chip experiences over there, Cam. Yeah, man, that's what we do over here at Championship Pedigree. That's what we got. And by the way, man, Coach Lato came in. Rolling with the cohort being 3 0 under his tutelage. You didn't know I had that in my vocab, did you? Tutelage. No, that's crazy. That, 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 hey, man. You got that from the encyclopedia? Hey, man, you know, I read it. Hey, I read more books than Kim Williams. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's true. Three ball and a sharp shoot. Jaden Wilkins going to connect. Oh. Nice. Oh, the floater, no good. Was able to put it back. Uh, if, if, if I'm RWE, which I'm not, by the way, but if I am, oh, interesting. I want to see Carter knocking some shots up. Okay, yeah, yeah. What's going yeah, on? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, but yeah, time to yeah. keep up the clock. I feel like they've been, you know, busy feeding Big P. You gotta feed the beast, but you also gotta feed your McDonald's exactly. All American. McDonald's All American need a shot. I ain't mad at that though. Good pull by Daquan. Seven to four, RWE lead. Just under five minutes in the first quarter. Three ball, Larry Johnson ties the game up. Hey Cam, how good does it feel for you to start off RWE with just a YouTube and a dream, and now you partner with OTE? You see players, McDonald's All Americans wearing your jersey. I mean, it's got to be a beautiful feeling. Oh yeah, I love it. I love it. It, it, it just, it, I don't know, it makes me happy to see how far that has come. And to know that it only get bigger. And what's crazy is all this happened in a very short amount of time. Year and a half. All this happened. It's crazy. Absolutely. And on the other end, Coach Julius, he's been coaching for a long time as well. He's even coached multiple NBA players. Cam, you know some of the NBA players he's coached. Train. Jalen LeQ, Kyrie Walker, just to name a few. Jalen Suggs? Um, Jalen Suggs. Uh, I think he even coached, I think he even trained Chet a couple, of, uh, a couple of times. I used to watch his YouTube videos a lot. He used to train all those tough players. What was his YouTube channel name? It was Julius V. Elite. Now Coach Julius. Now coaching, rolling loud. First shot of the game, Carter Knox no good on the three ball. Fast break opportunity. Three ball, Martin Somerville no good. Rebound by Carter Knox. Carter Knox wearing the, uh, the black tee up under the jersey. That give me like early 2000s college vibe. Uh -huh. I'm so used to the Under Armour being under the, oh my goodness. Oh, uh. We got the, uh, the loose baggy shoulders. I like that though. Yeah, I rock with it. Oh. So Cam, you know for being a sharpshooter. Right. I see you shoot with an inflatable wave around and still made shots. Right. Who would you compare your game to at OTE? Oh, at OTE? Yeah. Um. You know, my game's inc uncomparable. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. no. Okay. Uh, but if I had to, like, if you really need me to, um, I'd probably say Eli Ellis. Okay. All right. <laughs> of course. Why not name the one guy averaging 2,000? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Eli Ellis. I mean, if I had to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they cried Davis at the line shooting, too. Baltimore, Maryland raised, played football majority of his upbringing. Yeah, that's my type of guy. Yeah, man, that's why he plays so aggressive on the court. As I mentioned, was compared to Marcus Smart from that DMV area. He told me that the best hoopers come from the DMV area. Actually played football, youth football, with Tyler Hype Jackson and his kids that came up together in the same area. Kind of cool that they get to experience a full circle moment and play basketball for OTE together. Three ball, Nas Cunningham. No good. Oh, good the defense. Ferocious. Oh. Oh, the, the, that's my first time seeing a ref overrule. Ref says a jump ball, other ref says a foul. Check out a replay of that, Cam. Let me see. I need to see this. What you think about this? Oh, that's, that's jump, jump ball. ball. <laughs> <laughs> that's a jump ball. That's a correct one. Yeah, that's jump ball for Shout sure. Shout out to the ref, man. They got a tough job out there. People like Cam give them a hard time. Yeah, man, that was jump ball. I'd be screaming at the ref calling for a foul. Me too. If I'm a coach? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. If I'm a coach, by the second quarter, my voice will sound like Doc Rivers. Oh, I'm tired of people flopping on the three ball. Flop, you gotta stop. Come on, man. You ain't James Hard, baby. Come on, man. Three ball. Knocked down. Boom. Daquan Davis just recently decommitted from Providence. The world is his, man. He got a lot of college offers from schools all over the country. Just like a lot of these players here at OTA. Exploring their options. Exploring their options, man. Wow. 
Dominic Stewart headed to the line for two. You ask some of these players what schools they're thinking about going to, and you would think a two-second conversation, it ends up being a five to ten-minute conversation yeah. because they're naming 300 schools. 300 of them. Hey, fam, if you want to get dripped out in OT gear, there's only one place to get it. Head to shop.overtime.tv or scan the QR code on the screen for all the latest collections. Right now, as we speak, man, I'm rocking some cold harsh gear. And of course, you already know, I said cold harsh City Reapers. Cam, I know you're rocking some RWE right now. See what I'm rocking. Come on, man. Hey, no false advertisement at all by yeah, this guy. Man. You know, you know what I'm rocking. Come I, on. I ain't gonna hold you. I, I, I need me some, some Roman Loud gear, bro. Cause I don't. They got the best jerseys in the game. Okay, you think so? Oh yeah. All right. They give me uh, a bag of Funyuns mixed yeah. with the uh, Seattle Super Signs. Okay. And I like both. Yo, Carter. That's a tough tray ball. Carter knocks the McDonald's All American. Basketball runs in his blood. Younger brother of Kevin Knox, who's currently playing in the NBA. If I'm not mistaken, for the Detroit Pistons. Hey, man, he got NBA in his blood. One of the toughest, hardworking kids here in OTE. He's from Florida as well, so he got that swag with him when he plays. And, and ultimate confidence, Lincoln Crosby. Bring out the wind deck for that one. Oh. Boom! Dominic Stewart, he can get hot at any time. I've seen him go seven for eight from a three-point line. He can absolutely shoot the ball. Uh, let's see what kind of set RW gets into. Okay, the set is Daquan Hurt you. That's All right. Great. That was great. He, he, he held him off with the with the offhand, contorted his body for the like contort. Hey, yo, I'm really on some Akeem. Yeah, Akeem man. Yeah, the, your encyclopedia is busting today. Hey, right, bro, that's what happened when you listen to Ti before the game. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. Understandable. Indubitably. Indubitably. Spell it. Not at all. You want me to spell it? No, nah, I'll spell it baby. right. <laughs> Not at all. I got good spelling, man. I want the spelling being 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Great. I wanted the 13. For real? I beat you. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 That's most recent. I wanted the 13 for it. Yeah. Oh. Dale Jones. That's a five. <laughs> That's clearly a five. And if it was 30 seconds in the fourth quarter, he would have made that number then. He is the best player I've ever seen under. 30 seconds in the fourth quarter. No way he makes it. Oh my goodness, I was about to say. First quarter action, it's Kim Tua in 16 to 13. RWE with the lead. Don't go nowhere, more OTE basketball coming your way. Welcome back to OCE, everyone. I'm Overtime Tom here. We got RWE up 16 to 13 in the first half. But just now, breaking news, the Cold Hearts just took down the Blue Checks in North Carolina, 79 to 75. Trey Parker had 18 points, 10 rebounds. John Bull had 22 points and 18 rebounds. A, a big win for the Cold Hearts in a close game against the Blue Checks. And now, Big win for the number two team in the most recent Strictly B-Ball power rankings. As you'll check them out right here, we got the YNG Dreamers, who are still at the top with Eli Ellis, but the Cold Hearts are coming right behind them after a big win against the Blue Checks just now. YNG is playing Jelly Fam tomorrow night in New York City. We'll see what happens there. That can shake things up. And man, six and seven teams playing right now. RWE and Rolling Loud. RWE the sixth seed, Cam? Really? Really, yeah. man? Hey, I'll tell you what, we win this game, we pass blue checks. That's what it looked like to me. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. I'll tell you something real easy to know. Nobody's catching a diamond dove, no time to. <laughs> nah, yeah. Oh. 
Taking some very contested shots today. The behind it back to Lincoln Crosby. Go. No good. Good job, Dale. Go. Go, Larry. Oh, no good. Carter Knox on a fast break. Big body. And one. No foul. Yeah, that, that, that looked like a foul to me. Yeah, it looked like a foul to me. But you know, I might be biased. So, yeah. no. so tell Dale Jones, that's a deep one. Oh, just rattled out. We run 30 seconds. I'm about to say, they're throwing shots, so let's slow it down. Let's get a, yeah, let's get a good Nico, shot here. Nico, go, go, go. Go, Nico. Oh, wow, they're doubling Quan up. Oh, go, dribble. Nico. Free ball. No good. So, Cam, you got a chance to see a lot of these players play for your, for your AAU program. What's one of the players that probably surprised you the most by watching their game? Maybe at, a, maybe at one of the, one of the um, tryouts or one of the videos, you like, yo, he's nice. Window, window. One player? I mean, it, it, it can be a few. I want to know which one wild you. Um, let's see. When I first found LeVar, you know, he was different. Um, but tryouts, though, tryouts really, I don't know. I didn't really find anybody from tryouts. Hey, but I'll tell you what, though. Larry got some bounce. Yeah. The show should have dunked that. But splitting the double team like that was a little bit too easy. Rolling out look good today, though. They, they're not playing games. They looking good today, but they haven't looked good for the, for the entire season. Right. They have the talent, though. I mean, they have five Division One commits on the team. They even lead OTE in three-point percentage. They can shoot the ball, you know, but the four, uh, somehow it doesn't always resonate in wins. Why don't you think so, man? You know, you know, some people, Division One players, it's hard to get a multiple Division One players to commit. Um, you know, most think that they should be getting more shots than the other. Selfishness comes in. Um, but I don't know, when you play other teams who also are really good, True. you got to be playing tip top, top of your game. Okay, we're and what I tell other people is, job. a team like the Diamond Doves, right they got like five players that's going on D1. Basket, we may, we yeah, if they play a normal high school the team, they're winning by 80. They're literally winning by 80. Yo, in transition, we're in FIFA. So here no the team, man, the competition is so the stacked, you never know what's going on. Every guy. team is good. Hey, Every team. Actually, the worst team in the league, right now. Any, yeah. yeah. any team in here, if you play a regular high school, you got to think the Diamond Doves are right now 1-12. Larry yeah. Johnson, Oklahoma State University. Red Mamba, going to Troy University. Larry Johnson. No, actually, Larry Johnson played for this team. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, I can start naming off yeah. every player over there, and they're going high Division One basketball. If that exactly. mid-major. Yeah. When you play like normal high school, you might have to go against three D1 guys a season, if that, depending on where you playing. I'll tell you what, Darion killed him with that Hezzy. Hey, the Hezzy call. smoked the floater. Yeah, the Hezzy call. Yeah, smoked the floater. Here we go. Oh. with the ball. Dominic Stewart on a drive. The tough floater in is good. Tough. He's been surprising me more and more by showing me he can put the ball on the floor and make plays and not just spot up and knock down shots. Yeah. Lincoln Cobb's been getting a lot of playing time this game. Young Bull. One of the youngest players here at OTE. Young Bull getting a lot of reps in, man. Imagine being that young, and even Jaden, right? Jaden Wilkins in the starting lineup. Imagine being this young and you're playing with Zomto. Yeah, in a hey, pro hey, league. Sorry. Carter Knox. These guys are going big time division one. I mean, something's going to Kentucky. You're playing yeah. these guys in the ninth grade. But yeah, so especially Lincoln being the number one player in the ninth grade. 
him get this kind of experience early on, he's gonna be cold. By the time he gets to his senior year, he's gonna be cold. <laughs> By the time he gets to his senior year, man, he's gonna be an animal. Yeah. And that boy tall too to be a to be a freshman. He's yeah. six, six eight, six nine. Wait till he gets some weight on right. him. Right. Over with. Carter knocks with the tough play. No foul being called. Rest is kind of letting you guys play a little bit, yeah. Martin yeah. Somerville with the ball. Go. Oh, good extra pass. Shot no good. I'll tell you what, what I love what I would want to see more of is some big P down low. It was getting easy buckets early on with Big P. Uh no. Uh, Three ball. Uh, <laughs> no good. Three ball, no good. My Jaden Wilkins. Oh. Hey. Hey. Yeah, man, just some post touches, you know. A little bit more of that. Absolutely. Okay, oh, that, that, that was an offensive foul. Oh. Oh, oh they called a defensive foul. Big P with the with the push. Yeah, man, uh, he's a force to be. He's a force to be reckoned with. What was the game plan? Huh? So the game plan was uh, to get uh, uh, Peyton Marshall down low, yeah, yeah. getting some touches down low, you Absolutely. know, because he's bigger than everybody, right? So yeah. OT basketball is back on Prime Video tomorrow night. Tune in to see the McDonald's All-American Carter Knox and RWE take on Jeremiah Johnson and the Diamond Doves. It all goes down tomorrow, February 2nd at 7 p.m. exclusively on Prime Video. RWE hands down has some of the best talent around the country, but due to injuries and other unfortunate events, they haven't been able to maximize their potential. How do you feel about you guys this so far in the season? Um, very disappointed, obviously. We're five and six. Uh, that's not something we wanted to see or be. You know, I expect to be undefeated. You know what I'm saying? But injuries killed us. We're the one team with the most trades during the season, so everybody's got to learn to play with new players. But I think the closer we get to being healthy, and what really matters is the playoffs. That's what matters. Okay, and, and so don't you, nobody. You George Pop you put uh, Greg Popovich on. Yeah, and don't nobody want to play RWE in the playoffs. I'll tell you what. That's true. Nobody. That's true. I don't know, man. The cohorts might have something to say about that. Like I said, <laughs> don't nobody want to play RWE. Hey, man, y'all got a McDonald's All-American. Cohorts got a McDonald's All-American, all right? We I got, don't think they nervous. And we got Samto and Big Nate, which is waiting to play again. Wait. That's a good point. I can't argue that. We're back with more second quarter action. RWE with the ball in a close game, 18 to 17. Cam, what have you seen from RWE so far? What are you liking about the game so far? I think they're getting some good shots. I think they need to, you know what I'm saying, see the mismatches a little bit more, because uh, there's a clear mismatch on the floor, and I think they can get some good opportunities off of it. They went to Big P early, man, yeah. they just stopped. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't, I don't really get it, but they're playing some solid defense, though. Make up for their offense. How do you feel about the young boys getting a chance to start, man? You with it or you want to see a, the more experienced players out there on the court? Um, I think it's cool. I think this is a game that you can play to young players. You know, and, and then second half, you really lock in, put your experienced guys in, and go to work. I want to see Jay Jack get more aggressive, man. Oh, that's tough. Big P. That's okay. a good shot, but there should be no reason he's that far from the paint. Like that. Yeah, you got to seal him a little bit harder. Coach Frazier's mad he took that jumper instead of being a little bit more aggressive, maybe getting a little closer to the basket. See, see me, me and uh, Coach Frazier on the same mindset here. Hey, man, that's a good hire. Yeah, man. Great guy. Great guy. I want to see Jay Jack get more aggressive, man. Jay Jack is one of the most athletic. He's like Malik Monk if I had to compare his game. Yeah. But I don't feel like he, oh, that's easy. Oh. My goodness. That should have been head top. Tom, Tom is ready on the Bobcat right now. Tom, take it away. A little bit of technical difficulties over there with Tom right now, but Big P almost catching a body, posterizing. 
over there, man. And now he's at the line shoot too. I think if Big P did 15 calf races before the game, he'd have boomed that. Just 15? Give him that extra little spring. Okay. You know. You know, I've been doing calf races my whole life, man. Still can't jump. Snipe, I'm sorry, man. My mic was broken, but I think it's back now. It's all good, man. First half action is coming to a close, but we got the State Farm Halftime Show coming up next. Highlights, locker room access, and a feature on no other than Romello. Stick with us. Don't go anywhere. Hey, Tom, don't worry about it, man. It happens to the best of us. To be honest, I didn't really want to talk to Dell Jones anyways. I mean, yeah, man. Hey, Tom, you look good over there, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I mean, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, you say you, you appreciate it? <laughs> yeah, bro, you're hilarious. The pull up, pull up pass. Oh, that was smooth. But you gotta finish. Peyton gotta have at least 10 rebounds. Uh oh, Jay Jack with the lay. And that's exactly what I call for, man. A little bit more aggressiveness. From Jay Jack. That's what he do. He can take it to the rack with the best of them. I don't know if we can get a close up on Daquan Davis's Gilbert Arenas Hibachi Adidas sneakers, but these are tough. He's sitting over here next to me, and I ain't gonna hold you. I wanna ask him what size he wear, Cam. That's the beauty. I mean, that's a nice shoe. I, I haven't even seen these out before, man. I like the fact that they relaunched a lot of the classic Adidas sneakers, like the T Mac. Yep. Um, the Crazy Eight, the Gilbert Arenas. Adidas has done a great job with relaunching some of their most popular shoes in the early 2000s. But don't look now. Tom's got Shifty Jesus with him right now as we speak. Tom, take it away. Hey, man, I'm down here with Shifty Jesus. How are you feeling, man? So, no, nah, hey, the game's going solid. We just need to compete a little bit more, play a little bit harder, and we're going to be right there taking the lead. You didn't play RWE over the summer at all with Cam Wilder, did you? No, I didn't. Yeah. You wouldn't want to do that, right? Well, RW, I mean, it's cool. It looked it look fun. You know, I know a lot of the guys that played on the team, they said it was a fun experience. So I might, if, if I get the time. And uh, can you talk to me about the style now? You're going full long sleeve. What's up with that? Little 007 type. Little alias. You know me, All black under the gear. You feel me? Coming and sneaking. What's up? Do you feel like Coach Julia should put you in the game right now? So for me, nah, I think he should let my guys rock out. Um, I'm getting a good breather so I can come back in, you know what I'm saying? Uh, at, the end of the, at the end of the half, give us a little bit of energy to boost what we need uh, going into the second half. Bradley Beals here, is that cool? Yeah, that's dope. He, uh, he always had like AAU games and stuff like that, so it's always cool to see a guy like that coming to a lot of the games for the young boys. Yeah, he didn't want to talk to me. Back to you guys in the booth. Shout out to uh, Shifty over here. That was one of the craziest shot attempts I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, that was nuts. <laughs> but, uh, hey, man, I rock so shitty, Jesus, man. Someone tell, ooh, damn, ooh, that was tough. Oh, that, oh, that, 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 that was tough. Yeah, somebody tell shitty Jesus, man, I got a jersey for him, man. You oh, know? man, just like that. Just, just like that, man. Shifty Jesus, I got a jersey for you, man. You just, just holler at me, let me know. I'll respond about three business days. You know? You handing out jerseys like Oprah hand out cars, man. I, I like your style. You know. Look at that defense by Carter Knox. That was intense, man. For sure. I like it. That's the intensity you need. That's how you win games. You know, RWE has a really good opportunity to go 2-0 this weekend and really fix that record. They do. Get over 500. And, and that would be nice. They got, they got, they got rolling out today, and they got uh, Diamond Dubs tomorrow. They can go 2-0. This is a good weekend. This could be a good weekend for RWE. Or it could be better. But it starts today, and it starts right now. You know what, man? You need to sit in the locker room, man. Come halftime. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, you know, oh, something about that behind the back was a little too cool. Yeah. A little too cool. The long the pass. The pass. Okay. By Jamie Brookings. Uh, I like it. Hey, man, he can do more than shoot. He's the trade ball champion, but he's also showing. He need to throw some downs, man. Oh. Dominic's really stepping up. Now he can hoop, man. I've seen enough of him to know it ain't a fluke. He's a bucket. Oh. Let's get another look at that lob right quick. Jaden, that's a perfect pass. Yeah, that move. was a beautiful pass. Unselfish. Throw it up. I love the fact that he's in the starting lineup getting more experience. I never see anybody in the gym more than Jaden Wilkins. Sometimes I say after the games, I lift weights. 
I work out, I leave a little late, he's still in there getting shots at one in the morning. Yeah, man, little do y'all know, OTE got a big board of all the players who get shots up. And the youngest kid, Jaden Wilkins, is up there with the older kids, yep. with the amount of shots he puts up. And he's a freshman. I mean, or is he a sophomore? A freshman? I think he's a freshman. I think he's a freshman. Yeah, man. His Grind father, Damian oh. Wilkins, former McDonald's All-American. Right, hey, right, right, oh, NBA okay. player, ex-NBA player. So, Brayden is just running the household, man. Basketball yeah. running the household. And Jaden hasn't even hit his growth spurt yet. He's going to be at least 6'5", at least. Yeah, Pop's tall. Come on, man. Pop's about 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, yeah. Pop's tall. He's too. Oh, he's definitely going to get his NBA body soon. I'm excited to see what he's going to be able to bring to OTE in the future. Oh, good pass and great lay by Dominic Stewart. Get used to the name, ladies and gentlemen. He is a baller. And that's the first half, 27 to 21. RWE has the lead. I know you can't be more excited, Cam. This look good, but we can play better. Okay. We can play better. Come on, man. What we, we, just, we was just up 10. Come now on. it's like two easy buckets. Now it's only a six-point game. I don't really like it. Come on, man. That, don't, don't, don't be that guy. We can be better. Don't be that guy, We man. can be better. The job ain't finished. <laughs> the job, job ain't finished. <laughs> we got big man Peyton Marshall with us. We're going to get a chance to talk to him in a second. Peyton, you, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I'm here. Yo, Peyton, it looked like you had a clear mismatch in the beginning of the game. Talk about explaining that mismatch early, man. Uh, the big guy not here right now, so we're just trying to exploit our um, exploit the mismatch in the paint. You know, I'm seven foot, they tallest player right now, like six six. So why not go down low when I should show clear advantages? So I've been probably just doing our best, taking advantage of it. Hey man, you got some of the best swag out there on the court. Every time you go out there, bro, you walking different, you talking different. How big is your swag into your game? Hey, it's a big part of it, man. I feel like if you ain't, if you don't look good, you don't play good. You got to be confident about your <laughs> stuff on the court. So I carry myself away. All right, Because I know who I am. I got to have my swag. That's where okay. I'm from. Okay, okay. Hey, man, good luck in the second half of the game. I appreciate you for talking with us. Guys, don't go anywhere. More basketball coming up after this. 27 to 21, RWE. Can they get over the hump? We'll see you guys in a second. Women's basketball is really taking off, and overtime is a huge part of that. They always approach us with positive vibe. Overtime select. It's kind of like a gateway. Women get a chance to like do their thing in basketball, just like men can do. It's a way for us to continue to uplift women's basketball and help them to become the best that they can be on and off the court. Competing with the best players, the content we're gonna create, the connections we're gonna make. I'm just so excited for it all. Welcome to OT7. Oh my God, what a catch. Over the middle, taking a shot, T. Oh, touchdown. Do you want sick highlights? Oh my God, what a catch. Insane rivalry. Yeah. They play, they play like dogs. And incredible ballers having the time of their life. They're going crazy. Got two players have more fun than this. Do it, kids. Then this is the place for you. Welcome everyone to the OT Halftime Show. We got a great game going on so far. RWE is up 27-21 on Rolling Loud in a battle between the number six and number seventh ranked team in all of OT. I'm your host, Overtime Tom. We're gonna be joined by Cam Wilder and Sniper in a minute. So make sure you guys drop a ton of questions that you got for Cam and Snipe in the chat. We wanna see as many questions as humanly possible. But hey, we got a first, great first half going on so far. We just heard from Peyton Marshall, who's dominant in the, in the down low for sure. We're also checking in with Rolling Loud a little bit. We're gonna check out some of the first half highlights right now in a minute. But Snipe, what do you think of the first half so far? You think RWE is finally turning the corner, finally starting to look good? Hey man, now was the time, and I feel like they putting on the show, the energy is high, they just gotta do better as far as, you know, playing defense. All right, and we're gonna check out some of the highlights right now. Cam, what do you like from your team? What do you think about the squad so far? I think early on the game, uh, we, we took good advantage of Big P down low. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we found the mismatch, uh, we fed it to him. <laughs> And I think we need to keep doing that in the second half. Carter Knox's his shots are falling. Um, 
I think them, I think other people take it to the rim being aggressive too. Juan had a couple good moves to the rim. Jay Jack got to the rim a couple times. He's got to keep being aggressive. Yep, for sure. And on, and on the other side, rolling loud, snipe. I feel like they came out with good energy and they're starting to play better. Obviously, we watched them last week beat Jelly Band by about 30, and it's really all about Larry Johnson, right? Not, not really. Larry Johnson is nice, but we can't forget about Dominic Stewart. This dude is letting us know he's one of the best players on this team, and he's crawling into being one of my favorite players on this rolling loud team. Look out for Dominic Stewart. And I think the craziest thing right now, rolling out and RWE, two teams that are at the bottom of the rankings. I could easily see them making a run in the playoffs, so I can't wait to see what these two teams do in the second half. And look, I got a question for you, Cam. Yeah. Romello, uh -huh. my favorite player. Your right. favorite player? What yeah. do you think about Romello's game? Uh, on, the, on the team, yeah, I think he's my favorite player. I would have loved to see him play in that, in that second quarter, uh, let him get, a, get some run. But I just love, you know, He's a young bull. He, he doesn't get too many minutes, so I think he uses that to, you know what I'm saying, his advantage, has a chip on his shoulder. He plays a lot harder. Um, I like the kid, man. Of course, man. And look, Ramel, one of the youngest players in all of OT. We're going to learn a little bit more about him right now. Check out more of Rome. I'm too blessed to be getting that stress, so I don't really pray too much. You know, when I'm not hooping or anything, it's where I like to chill at. It's my safe space for real. I've lived in around maybe 10 different houses. This mattress set gift I got recently, I keep them separated from all my other backpack. And not putting those on the floor. What makes my room mine is I like to decorate it. I try to create like a chill, dark vibe. My couch is black, my bed is black, pillow sheet is black. Everything's black, so. I've done that at every house I lived in. But this is my first time putting my jerseys on the wall. This was my first ever AAU team. This jersey was huge on me. And then this right here, this was my first ever track meet. I got second. I ran track all my life until this year. Yeah, for sure it helped me a lot because he'd be running in basketball. And then this jersey, my first ever camp I went to. That's kind of where like people started to figure out who I was more as a basketball player than as Monica's son. I would say my bedroom is a safe place. I can just go in there and be alone, just chill. Now we come over to my bed. Nobody really goes in there. This is where I take my 12 hour deep sleeps. I gotta have the silk sheets and silk pillows. It's just not comfortable if it's not there. The Tiger Tiger was the first anime I watched. Now, I don't think I can live without it, so. I put a Attack on Titan poster up. I like Aaron, cause like he always stood up to everybody. You see a thing where it say freedom. I just like that. Before I go to sleep, I usually turn on Hulu so I can watch anime. It helped me go to sleep. Or oh, it also it also keep me up too. So my clothes are really just everywhere. I ain't gonna lie. Outside, I might throw on some some of these ricks. These Maharas. Another pair. I like I like these shoes too. Yeah, I mess with these shoes a lot. They, they, they super comfy, like they got the cushion inside, you know? And they, they look hard too, so. I like them shoes, I'm gonna start wearing them shoes outside a little bit more. <laughs> it's getting late, appreciate y'all coming out. I gotta be at OT early in the morning. You ain't gotta go, but you can't stay here. Welcome back, everyone. Romello's house and his room, very bouncy. Have you Romello, he's got a lot of shoes. He might have more shoes than Sniper. He's got a lot of jerseys as well. Uh, Romello is, uh, who would you rather have, Cam? Nelson or Romello? You gotta decide. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man, you gonna do that to me? Yeah. If I had to choose? Yeah. Oh, man. Well, word on the street, it's Black History Month. So I'll have to go with Romello. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. It's a great answer. Uh, we got a couple questions here coming in from the chat. 100 IQ says, I tuned in late. Is Sompto playing? Sompto is not playing. He's got a broken wrist or hand or something. He'll be back real soon, though. That's going to help RWE out a lot, right, Cam? We get Sompto uh, back? For sure. Yep. Uh, Faye wants to know, hey, Cam Wilder, who is winning the Super Bowl? Not oh, the Ravens. Wow. <laughs> Not the Ravens, buddy. Wow, that's messed up. We're just going to go ahead and skip that question. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Um... Nice. All right, a lot of questions here. Uh, Sniper, what would the score be if you played Cam Wilder one-on-one? -on -one? If we went to 12. That's I, from Tornado 2K. If we went to 12, I'll probably win. Uh, Cam, nice, though. Uh, he already I, messed up. He already I, messed I, up. I'll probably go 12-9 my he, way. He already messed up. Cam, okay. nice. Cam, nice. It'd be, it'd be a tough game. Okay, Blueface Trek wants to know, Cam, can you win, Mill? Yes. Well. Yes. Well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, 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 All right. Crazy. All righty. Uh... And the last question, oh, only one more question. This is going to be so fun. Over or under from Jose Garcia, 25 points tonight for Carter Knox. I'm not sure what he's at right now. 
though. By the way, it's looking. Yeah, I see. I see a cool look. Uh, actually, I, I think Roland Law makes some adjustments. I'm gonna go under. I'm gonna go under. I think the other players on RWE are gonna step up, close this game out. All right, that makes sense. But hey, if you can't get enough of OTE, you gotta check in to Amazon Prime Video and watch One Shot, the docu series on last season. You get to watch the Thompson Twins. You get to watch Rob Dillingham, Eli Ellis, and a ton more. And look, season two is coming really soon. So go watch that on Prime Video. And we got a great second half coming up between RWE and Rolling Loud. We'll be back in a second. Appreciate y'all. It's just a mini NBA playoff game at all times. When the check riders in the building, you gotta punch the clock. It jumps up another 15, 20%. Eli Ellis for the game. Welcome back to the OTE Arena. We're excited for some more basketball. Excited. We got RWE rolling loud. RWE 27 to rolling loud. Is that 21? Yeah. Hey, man. It's a good game. It is a good game, man. We look solid. Um, I expect us to win this game. I expect us to win this game by a lot. Um, I think we need to get Big P going just like we did at the beginning of the game. Um, and then just keep playing hard on defense. Get stops. Today is the start of Black History Month. Join OTE as we honor the rich tapestry of black history, culture, and achievements. The Black History Month, let's come together to celebrate, educate, and inspire. Black History Month is about shining a light on the triumphs and challenges of black history. It's about following in the footsteps of our ancestors, recognizing their struggles, appreciating their will to overcome, and honoring their legacy. Black history is American history. Black history is world history. And we're back for more OTE basketball, man. 27-21. And uh, hopefully my pick stays clean. Oh, RWE to get this. If RWE don't get this dub, man, I'm going to strangle you. No, we got fault. this, man. We got this. Why? Because the owner and the GM's in the building. Uh, so that's why we're going to win today. I believe in our team. Here we go. Let's do this. RWE. Hey, chat. RWE on me. RWE on three. One, two, three. Whole chat better say RWE. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't playing with y'all. Look at Carter Knox. Oh, my God. Not wasting time. Oh, oh no, no way. No way. No He's way. Wilding. Oh, my God. Yep. He heard you said under on the 25. Nah. Boom! Yeah, he ain't waste time. First I'm play of the first play of the half. I'm loving it. Ba da ba ba ba. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, 11 points out of the half. Carter knocks with the quick three in transition. That's a that's a ballsy shot, man. Oh my goodness! That oh. Man. Wow. Hey, look. I hey, he said hold that. Don't get too he excited. did. He did say, "Hold." Oh, look at the chat. Chat, I rock with y'all. Look at all the RWEs in the chat, man. I'm loving this. I'm loving it. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> I'm loving it. Good job, chat. You guys passed the vibe check. At OTE, do y'all serve hot wings at the games? I don't know, but if they did, that's a random question. Nah, that's random, huh? Hot wings, bro. Sound like bro need to go to Wingstop, get him some wings, huh? It sounds like you need to pull up. Yeah, sound like he hungry. Come find out, my boy. I sound think like we do. Yeah, do. Wait, y'all still? I know last year I used to get, I used to get hot wings every time. Yeah. Well, Agent ate all of them. Yeah, Agent definitely used to order a truckload of wings. Yeah. That would that sound. Man, wings just sound good. They do sound good. I'm like, <laughs> boneless wings. I, I rock with boneless wings. I rock with them. People hate boneless wings. I rock with them. Yeah. Ain't that like a good boneless oh, wing? Wings gas. Wings not boneless wings are gas. Oh, the three the point ranch. basket. I'm sorry. Great shot by Jaden. Wingstop got the best ranch in the nation. Hey, hey, give me some. Best ranch in the Come nation. On. Hey, they ranch make you want to eat more wings. Hey, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. Once again, I got to get credit where credit is due. Yeah. Never had boneless wings from Buffalo Wild Wings before. And out of nowhere, I'm Davis, take me. I never went back. Davis, Davis put me on. I'm telling you, bro. Hey, 
We joined by McDonald's All-American, Ian Jackson. What's good, my boy? What's up? Yo, he came in here smiling. Yeah, you see yeah, him? Yeah, Ian all the way smiling. All right, okay. Hey, hey, yo, I witnessed Ian smiling, giving dudes 30. It's never a time where he's not smiling, bro. He ain't giving me 30, though. Yeah, man, you got to smile, man. He ain't giving me 30, though. I wouldn't take that if I was you, yeah, though. No, I ain't man. Hey, look at his face. Hey, why his smile going? Yeah, the smile went away now. Hey, hey, Ian, I gotta ask you, bro. Have you, have you had your pole today? Yeah. <laughs> that boy don't go a day without the Chipotle, man. Absolutely. That's ridiculous. Hey, man, you headed to North Carolina. I know you're excited. Right now, y'all rolling. Uh, how excited are you for this next chapter of your life? To you know, play some college basketball. Okay. I'm excited. I can't wait. Uh, can't wait to go there, Chapel Hill, put on that Carolina uniform, and what it looks like him. Yeah, he going to the right school. I'll tell you what. <laughs> he going <laughs> to the right school. I'll tell sure. you what. Yeah. Hey, that boy, that boy know what he's doing. Yeah, man. Y'all going up against one of the highest scoring guards in the country up next, man, with Eli Ellis. What's the game plan? And uh, you know, what y'all got to do to get the W? Uh, we got a game plan. Uh, we, we, we definitely going to guard the team. Uh, we're not going to let no individual matchup kind of bear us off of what we do as a team. No, nah, facts. So I'd be so surprised that Eli be going for 50 and nobody double team until he got like 45. I'd be like, come on, man. Yeah, nah, he's not getting 40 against us. Nah, <laughs> I mean. not hey, Coach Pete, That's Coach true. Pete, throw on a jersey first before he get 40 on you. I think yeah, Coach Pete yeah, ain't going yeah. for that. Hey, Ian, I got a quick question, man. Do you, see, so do you secretly wish that you played for RWE? Okay. I mean, just a, on, just a random question. Random question. Uh, so I don't like the way you, uh, you answered that, but it's cool. Hey, it's cool. Hey, you uh, see how he at you, bro? He yeah, like, like, he starts squinting his eyes. That was crazy. Oh, yeah, 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 can we lock that note? Yeah, yeah, we locked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we locked it. Go, I mean, go, being go. a McDonald's All-American, I know, is a huge honor. Um, how much would it mean for you to drop a 40-piece at the McDonald's All-American game, though? I ain't going to hold you. Yeah, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. I'll try, but, but if I do it, I do it. If I don't, I don't. Is this something that you dreamed of coming up, or was it just, or is it just a great accolade along the way? I think it's something I dreamed of. Uh, I feel like every high school kid that's playing basketball wanted to be Dallas American at some point, and for me to be able to be Dallas American, it's huge. Now listen, bro. I heard through the grapevine. I ain't gonna tell you my source, but I heard through the grapevine. You don't appreciate the Red Bomber nickname, Cooper Campbell, man. What's going on? Yeah, no, absolutely not. I feel like it's extremely disrespectful, and I I don't think he should put Mamba on the back as he did. You, you know what? You know what? Snipe oh, said the same on, thing man. to me, and I completely agree with you, Ian. Uh, I just I just yeah. I just didn't see the Mamba portion. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> did you see the red? Yeah, I'm least? looking for it. at least uh, uh, at least at least you put on your jersey. You got at least for me. You doing something? What I tell you, Snipe? Okay. What I tell you? I, I, I mean, hey. 25 points per game minimum. But bro, you keep dropping it. It was 30, then 40, not 25. Which one? I mean, okay. <laughs> hey, bro, I don't know. Yeah, what do you have? He had, he had two uh, points today. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of insane. Now he just ran. Yeah, he disrespecting. Yeah, he disrespecting. Yeah, man. Now, Ian, you got one of the toughest running mates in OTE with Elijah Chopper Moore. He headed to Syracuse. He's had some big games. For people who don't know or aren't familiar with his game, talk to us about his game and how to, how to allow your offense to open up. Uh, he's unbelievable shooter. Unbelievable shooter. You can't leave him alone. He, 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 he's, he's destined to go uh, a good percentage from three every night. So it definitely helps me open up job lanes for me. Uh, you can't help both of them. So, yeah, that's it. Now you know you're going to have to go up against him in the ACC. You know you're going to have to see him a few yeah. times, man. You excited about that? Absolutely. Uh, just uh, be able to be able to play against him after being with him all these years, uh, compete against each other. Uh, it's going to be amazing. Have y'all ever played 1v1 before? Nah, top of the play 1v1. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. Let me ask you, man. I think your game models Shea, in my opinion. Smooth. Uh, very, a lot of finesse. But if you had to compare yourself to anybody in the league, if you had to, who would you say your game is most like? I would say, I would say him. I would say him. Oh, so I, I, I got some money, then. I heard, I heard. 
Yeah, I heard Jalen Brown was awesome. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. I know, I know your game, I like Shay, though. Shay Smooth, I like Shay. I like Shay. Hey, I yeah, know your game, cool. man. You know, I, I, I'll, be on my, I'll be on my time, man, bro. You know I'll be watching you, bro. So I, that's, that, that, I'll see a lot of Shay again. Who, who, you agree, Cam? I agree. That, the Jalen Brown one was pretty spot on, too. But you told me Bob Scalabrini before we got I, on. I said that. You said he played just like Scalabrini. Bob Scalabrini? I don't think. I See, I don't remember saying that. But, but look, that's what he said, though. But look, Scalabrini was lead, though. So, nah, he was lead. You know what I'm saying? He was lead. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nah, he was. He was. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Ian, let me ask you this. Coach Pete is one of the most, man, charismatic, energetic coaches here. I think if I was to play for anybody, it would be a Coach Pete. I feel like he motivates you guys. And I feel like he's also that big brother figure, if not father figure. What can you tell me about him? Uh, you, got, you got the right amount of money. Uh, just a great energy, a great person to be around. Just someone just lift everybody else up. So Coach Pete, Coach Pete is a great guy, for sure. Now, I got to ask you because me and my boys be laughing, you know, uh, shout out my boy Kyle, but we make fun of Kyle all the time. I feel like if you're from New York, you automatically got to have a handle, bro. I don't know why. It's like you get a handle IV after you're born, they just shoot you up with a, with a ball handle. Right. How much do you work on your ball handling, and how important is that to opening up your game? Uh, I feel like every after my game, got to get a little better, got to work on. So just, just, just working uh, on any aspect is a good part of my game. Solid ball handling. Uh, <laughs> solid ball handling. Hey, Ian, man, I ain't going to take up too much of the time. My brother, I know you got to lock in. You got a big game tomorrow. We appreciate you for getting yeah. on the call, brother. Absolutely. Appreciate y'all having me. Yo, no go get a dub, man. Go get a dub. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We gonna get it now. Hey, man, shout out Ian Jackson. Great guy, man. Amazing guy. McDonald's All-American headed to UNC. Hey, Cam, you want to hear something? What's up? Three words. Uh huh. One and done. Ooh. Mm. I'm claiming it. Ian and, Jackson. And, and you know what? It's one and done. UNC. He going to the league, bro. And you know, sometimes, sometimes I don't like to say you're right. Yeah. Yeah. But this time, you're right. Oh, oh, oh word. You're hey, right. Hey okay. guys, Ian's great. But you want to know who's better? Who just checked in? Mr. Romello. Oh, oh my God. See, see, you're distracting me. Oh man. <laughs> and the main attraction just checked in the goddamn game. Romello Hill enters yeah, the game. This is our first time seeing him in. In the, in the beginning half of the game with a lot of with a lot of time left, I'm excited to see what he's about to do and what he's gonna bring. We got this a big is, bonus play. This is what I've been this is what I've been wishing for. Put him in second, third quarter, let him get some run in. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me take the time to shout out Coach Frazier by not only playing Romello, but yeah. a lot of the younger guys, Lincoln Cosby. Not him, shit. Um, by playing Jaden Wilkins in the starting lineup, and now you get Romello Hill. These are all younger players. But it's, it's, it's a lot of love from Coach giving us the play time, Cam. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Come Give them now, boys some PT. Get no up. cruiser. Pull up. No good. Now we need, man. FIFA, go. FIFA in the middle, middle, middle. And I feel like Romelo can, uh, he can guard, Can't bro, too. Can't make shoot us out of this. Yeah, I've been seeing Romelo. Uh oh <laughs> Romelo made a busy sir. I've been seeing those Romelo practice videos. He be playing, he be playing defense, man. Oh, oh, the, in, the double in and out. Oh, good pass. There you go. Brandon Crawford down low. I had to ask Brandon Crawford, like, are you related to Jamal or, like, Jordan by any chance? And he Listen, said no. Get a little he said no. Mm. But I had to ask, though. Crawford, like, if you hoop in your left hand, Crawford, it, it, that question is coming, bro. I'll tell you what, he got more bounce than both of them. Uh, Brandon Crawford got some Jordan bounce. Crawford got bounce, bro. That's the dude who dunked on LeBron and, and he got wiped off the internet. Okay. You can't play BC no more, y'all. He dunked on the internet. He dunked on the internet. Hey, hey, yo, hey! 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, come hand it off. Hey, hand off, hand off. Jordan Crawford is different. Jordan Crawford also is the only person I know that did play high school basketball in the NBA. <laughs> That's how nice he was. Yeah. He didn't play one year high school basketball, but still somehow made the NBA. Right to the league. Is that even possible? <laughs> Kobe did. Kobe did. Played no high school basketball, didn't go to Zay. Oh, no, no high school ball. No, he, he played no high school basketball. Roll I thought you said college. No, no, no. He played no high school basketball. Oh, wow. And went D1. Nah, that's different. <laughs> that's different. That is the craziest thing I've ever heard of. Yeah, that's different. you got to be cold to do that. Exactly. Yeah, we over here rushing shots, man. Hey, you see how he's going after rebounds? <laughs> Who is it, Black? 46, 43. 
Quick serve for Romello. Oh, actually, talk to me more hey, about ref, Romello. Ref, where's the ball? Um, you know, I, when I first saw him, it was Atlanta when I did an AAU tournament out in Atlanta. Um, I picked him up and automatically, you know what I'm saying, he wanted to get in the game. Obviously, he was a hooper, competitor. Um, he's young. Obviously, uh, you know, in a pro league, he's young. You're not going to get as much PT, but when you do, you got to make the most of it. You try to grind. But I rock with the kid, man. I rock with him. You missed the game. You're sitting by me. You ever played on an NBA court? My high school played on the hall court. Yeah. All right. Go. Give me four. Give me four. I got you. Give me four. I got you. Great guy, man. Great guy. Absolutely great guy. Got surprise sneaky bounce. Can shoot the ball exceptionally as well as two. And I'm happy that he's getting a little bit more time in these games. He's also another young player that can really thrive playing under the coaches of Coach Frazier and the other coaches on staff here at OTE. Yeah, and he'll get a lot of time this summer playing 17 U ball. Absolutely. Heard it here first. Carter Knox, corner three. Knockdown. Hey, that was a great play by Coach and uh, coming out of that time. Yeah, yeah, Coach Frazier drawing up banger plays. Cam, you don't draw plays like that. No, I do. Trust me. Um, let, let me get one of your play names. Oh, oh my goodness. Chicken and waffles. Okay. All right. What is what's going on? And one. Oh. Give me that. I thought that was an, uh, a foul off the Euro. Hey, man, that could be a cash app lockdown play of the game. We got we to gotta remember that one. Let me see. The Euro. Oh, that's a lot of arm, man. A lot of arm. Oh, come on. A lot man. of arm that there, was man. Clean. Let's go ahead and just call it a foul. Oh, come on, man. Cam, do you feel like in AAU, like, were the refs against you a lot of the time? Yes. You brought so many yes. Fans? The refs hated me because of the crowd. It was bad. Hey, man. Refs. Look who Big P has on him. Oh, my lord. And one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's tough. My fault, Carter. 18 points on the My bad, Carter. Do your thing. Carter Knox with the tough and one basket as he limps to the free throw line. That's strong. That's just that's just strong. That's a grown man move. Excuse me. That boy look like me out there. That's tough. OK. That boy look like me out there. You have me every time. Huh? Somehow. We go left. <laughs> that was tough, though, man. You know, I just, that's what I be doing in my men's league, you know? Take it to the cup and one. Them old men can't guard me, <laughs> you know? Shout out, my, shout out my old heads in the men's league. Yeah, shout out to the old heads still getting that run in, man. But I'm sorry that you got to play against me. You got 40 coming. Shout out to the old heads who wake up 5.30 YMCA runs. Yep. Y'all make a difference in this world, man. Really, you get, you're keeping me in shape. Oh. Lincoln back out on the floor. Let's see if we can take advantage. Oh my goodness! Ooh, okay, okay. Oh okay. my goodness! Where is he going? Hey man, you know it's kind of crazy. Daquan is hooping right now in front of the in front of the school he just decommitted from. But you never know, he could recommit. He, he could. You always gotta keep your options open. He could. He could. Wait, I don't know. It's like a constant. Oh. Like, man, he's nice. You can't get threes like that. Over. Let's see. Let's see what Quan can make some shake right here. Oh wow! No way! Yeah, I'm about to say wow. Man, he made that, bro. I'm gonna guard him myself. <laughs> man, a lot of action. Fourth quarter coming up soon. 54 to 46. RWE. They got the lead. Don't go anywhere. More basketball coming up next. We are ready for an action-packed night of boxing. It's about giving the boxing more opportunity. This is OTX Friday Night Fight. He just got blasted. Bring me my stats, and he is looking to eat right now. Big left hand, and down goes Swero. Final moments. OTX, we go to an overtime round. OTX Boxing is still undefeated. this time to shout out tonight's Adidas Six fan, Ricky McAtee from McDonough, Georgia. 
Ricky's favorite OTE team is RWE, and his favorite OTE player is no other than Romelo Hill. Ricky, thanks for being a super fan of OTE. W guy, man. My guy Tom is standing by Ricky right now. Tom, take it away. Hey, fellas, I'm down here with the sixth fan of the game, Ricky. Ricky, man, how you doing? Good. Chilling right now? Yeah. How old are you? Nine. Nine? You got some nice earrings on. I like those. Who got you those? Thank you. <laughs> now, you're standing next to Rolling Loud, but which team are you rooting for? RWE. Yeah, why do you like RWE so much? You know, you know, Romelo Hill. Uh, bounce he is. <laughs> you got bounce like him? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Now, when, you, when you're not watching basketball games, what's your favorite thing to do in your free time? Play video games like Roblox and Fortnite. Oh, Roblox and Fortnite. Are you the best one of all your friends? Yes. If I put you and Romello in a game of Fortnite, who's winning? Me. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Everything else going well? What are you going to eat for dinner tonight? What do you already have? Pasta. There you go. Ricky, sixth man of the game. Appreciate you, bro. Great job. Nine years old, killing it. Back to you guys. Nice Cunningham, no good on a three. Shout out, Ricky, man. That's a good kid, man. You know, favorite team's RWE. He's already doing things great in life. Hey, man, he's yeah, no. a great start. Great choice. There's a lot of other options out here, young Yo, girl. Ricky was talking crazy before I got him on the mic. Yeah? Okay. Oh, what? man. He was like, bro, Cam. Trash. Oh, yeah, that kid might be a little iffy. Okay. Know, right? okay. Oh, oh, oh I, thought, yeah, I, thought, I thought he was going to get it. I thought he was going to get it. The and one lay. Larry Johnson. Larry going to work, man. That's, that's 17 points. Hey, Larry tough, bro. Going to work. Well, I definitely thought Carter was going to send that. Larry's a bucket, man. His ability to score and transition, create his own offense. 17 points on the night, shooting 70%. That boy now got 18 points and the next highest score got five. He needs some help out there, man. Hey, man. Oh, Alabama commit Nas Cunningham. What's going on? Right. I need to see more Nas, man. There's too many games where Nas have two, three, zero points. Tonight, Nas has four points. You need more from the five-star Alabama commit, man. Big P. Shot no good by Lincoln Cosby. Oh, the turnaround. Oh, he got a good touch, man. His floater like on 99. Yeah. Which is kind of wild. He won! He won! Quit! Hey, man, don't look now, but Martin Somerville, he can come alive at any time. Not to mention, Dale Jones in the fourth quarter, he comes alive as well. Under 30 seconds. Oh. Good move. The putback is good. Was that by Darian Sutton? He too. He uh, too. Put the ball in Dale's so. hands so it's not confusing. Darian or or me. They both crashed the old boards. Three ball, Dale Jones. No good. Darion be getting rebounds. Nah, he does. He does it all, man. Yeah, he does it all. I thought he was going to take his talents over to the University of Michigan where I seen him do his official visit, but decided to stay in Atlanta and head to Georgia Tech. I'm telling you, man, Darion can develop that jump shot. That's all he missing, bro. Boy, he could do something. I'm telling you. He He's going there with Jaden Mustaf under the coaching knowledge of Damian Stoudemire, who's a new head coach. They actually just beat the University of North Carolina. I watched that game. Yeah, me too. The reason I watched that game was because North Carolina busted my parlay. Wow. They lost. Yeah. Sorry to hear that, man. That could have won a lot of money if they won. It's OK, though. Out of the Mondo Bay Cut. Yeah. Talk. Daquan Davis. Drop, Kellen. Back over to Carter Knox, playing some aggressive defense. Carter with the elbow jumper. No good. Go back up. Go back up. Don't waste time. Don't pass it out. There you go. Foul on the play. Big P, but he got to be aggressive, man. You, if he get the ball down low like that, go straight back up. Hey, man. Don't pass it out. Big P got swag on the court, man. Catches here again tomorrow night. We've got Larry Johnson and Roland Loud. Going up against the high-flying Ja'Kai Howard and the City Reapers. 
It all goes down tomorrow at 8.30 on YouTube. You don't want to miss it. It's a star-studded match Go between three, the City man. Reapers and Rolling Loud. And I'm looking forward to that matchup, Cam. What about you? That'll be a fun one. Yeah, that'll be a fun one. Um, I don't know how they're going to stop Ja, but I mean, because Big P eat in the night. If City Reapers kind of take that game plan along with them tomorrow, I don't know how they're going to stop Ja. They've got to figure it out. Watch some film. Yeah, man, right now I'm excited for my pick. You know, uh, our producer KJ has been purposely ruining my record. Right. But uh, if these two games, game one already went how I wanted. If this game goes as I want, I'll be uh, 95, man, which is you know, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, wow. Go back up. Get three go back up. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. He's too strong, man. Too strong. They all over him. There ain't much you can do, though. Hey, man, you got to back off. You got to back off Peyton Marshall. You don't want none of that. Yo, listen, I know you love a clean pair of James Harden Adidas. Love it. But I got to say, that AE1, it looks good. They hard. I got a pair of them at the crib. I just haven't worn them yet. Same. I, I got a pair at the crib. Haven't got a chance to wear them because that Donovan Mitchell has taken me by storm. But I can't wait to get my feet in a pair of AE ones. That blue colorway. Is you know what? I'm actually gonna wear them this week. All right, my next men's league game. I'm gonna okay. rock them. I'm gonna rock them. Okay. I ain't mad at you. Okay. First sighting of Marcus Ponder. Wow, he's been hurt majority of the season. Good to see him back out there. Travel, turnover. That's a big sophomore. Wow, yeah, it might be the biggest sophomore I've ever seen in my life. Marcus? That boy a sophomore? Yeah. Sheesh. 2026, I'm pretty positive. Wow. That is, what are they feeding these I kids, don't know. That's man. what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, my kid that big. It went from chicken wings to Cornish hens. Literally. Yeah. Insane. Hey, man. No no Something gotta give around here. Something. Cause ain't no way. Daquan Davis with the ball. Oh, that's a tough lane. Darian Sutton with the offensive board. Oh, Damian Wiggins. <laughs> Jalen. Oh, the three ball. Oh, my goodness. What a Windex. All right. Strike a lot. Oh, that's a dime. You weren't ready for it. Oh. Corner three. No good. Oh! I see that coming. It's a grown man. Oh, man, that's what that is. So, Cam, with, oh, with, with, with things going on like OTE, you still playing high school basketball. Would you consider taking your talents over here, man, to play against some of the best talent in the world? Um, I'll say I would consider taking my talents over here if I was a, if I was a senior. Yeah. Senior, for sure. Don't go anywhere. More basketball headed right your way. RWE 62, roll aloud 53. Women's basketball is really taking off, and overtime is a huge part of that. They always approach us with positive vibes. Overtime select. It's kind of like a gateway. Women get a chance to like do their thing in basketball, just like men can do. It's a way for us to continue to uplift women's basketball and help them to become the best that they can be on and off the court. Competing with the best players, the content we're going to create, the connections we're going to make. I'm just so excited for it all. And now it is time for the Cash App Lockdown of the game. We get an insane block from Alabama commit Nas Cunningham on Daquan Davis. Look at that. I need that. That was okay. That was, a, that was, nice. that was a decent little block. That was nice, man. Yeah, that was a decent I mean, I, I mean, I know Daquan your guy, and that's RWE, but like, he said that, man. 
He's a block. Let's talk about the matchup between Carter Knox and Larry Johnson. They've both been playing amazing basketball tonight, but I guess Carter Knox has the advantage. I mean, they win in the, they win in the game. Yeah, man, whoever went in the game got the advantage right now, but uh, Larry's hey. stepping up big time for his team today. Uh, I think he's the sole reason this game's even a single uh, single digit game. You know, he's getting- The stats are almost the same. <laughs> he's getting to the rim pretty easily using his uh, athletic hey. ability to get up, finish over contact. He's playing well. Coach Frazier can tell us a lot more about Carter Knox. He's actually with the shortest guy in the world over Tom. Tom, Tom, take it away. Coach is locked in right now, fellas. Give him one second on this possession. Run, 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 run. Okay. Coach, can I get you real quick? What do you think about the team's playing so far? Um, playing okay. Not, not great, but trying to work through it. That's it. You got Bradley Beal here, obviously someone that you trained. What's it like having him come? I will watch this play here. Deal, man. Um, anytime any of my former players get to come bless these guys with, with some words or just appearance alone, man, it's big, man. So I appreciate him. And I see he's talking to Quan a lot. What's, what's your message? He's your point guard. You're always on him. What's your message to him tonight? Be a better point guard. <laughs> just keep working on being a better point guard. Be a better leader. Control your emotions. We go as he go. So we got to be better with that. All right, you still won't tell me when Santos coming back? Not a chance. All right, back to you guys. <laughs> Appreciate you, coach. <laughs> Not a chance. The whole world wants to know, when is the big man Santo coming back? That's how much of a difference he makes, man. Man, hey, listen. And I can only imagine Big P, Santo, Big Nate. That's nasty. We get Bradley Bill in the cut, Phoenix Suns guard. Man, that sounds so weird saying, man, I'm so used to him playing for the Washington Wizards. It's dope to see him over here in the cut, man. See if they can make some noise this year with that. Watching some of our future stars. Shout out to Bradley Bill for pulling up. 64-53. RWE with the lead. A lot of basketball to be played. What they saying in the chat, Cam? It should be RWE, but let's see what they saying in the chat, man. Romelo so bouncy. Um, AE1, so tough, y'all tough, true. Um, let's see here, Romelo's bouncy. They just think Romelo's bouncy, man. Chat, if me and Cam play one-on-one, -on -one, what's the score who's winning? Yeah, chat, let me know. Spam it up in the chat right now. Me and Snipe one-on-one, -on -one. Who? what's the score? I don't know why I set myself up like this. Game, hey, chat, game to 11, game to 11. I, I, I know majority of... Uh, 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 of uh, your people's is watching right now. Let's see it. But I'm willing to put my pride on the line for this, man. Game to 11, chat. Oh, What's oh. score? Bring back, Larry. That way, if we ever play, no. I'm an underdog. Oh, my oh, goodness. God. And the odds are forever in my favor. Cam 12 0. Get the. F okay. Uh, Cut his mic. Cam 11 0. No. Okay. All right. We said 11. Somebody said 12. Oh, wow. Someone said F the Ravens. All right. Um, That's crazy. Wow. In fact, we said 211 and somebody said 12 0 was crazy. I'm really not getting it, bro. Like, what is your excuse, Nico? That's my fault, Nico. Get him. Don't let it run. You got time out now. That's all I'm saying. Let's, let's get. What do you think? What do y'all think? Talking about for offense? No, for Jay Jackie. Not yet. Okay. Another kill, another kill. Now I ran at him. I ran at him. Yeah, I'm saying if we have 21, I didn't recognize him. Make sure you leave 21. Take Carter, this is you. This is you. We got the ball with Quan. Go screen for Carter. P. Get out of there. Try to get a catch right in this area right here. Look at him. Not get him here. Got it. This is gonna be Carter coming up. Who I got over here? So Jay will stay right here for me. Got it? So when he gets out, P, you scream. He goes to the other side. Stay. All right? He's just going to lift up. You'll be my safety guy back here. All right, let's go. He come through, Peyton, and they go double. Yeah, you scream. You that elbow, you got right to the side. Right. Let's go. And then it's your One by 20, y'all. One by 20. Did he say win by 20? <laughs> Carter Knox with 21 points. Darian Sutton, 14. But Dominic Schroer with 13 points. 
And, and Larry Johnson with 22. I'll tell you what, that Darion 14 points is very, it's not showing the whole story. I think Darion got about 15 rebounds. Yep. And about four assists. Darion is the reason most of uh, RW's points have been. Uh, there's been a lot of second chance points because of Darion. He's crashing the boards, helping Big P out down low. Uh, he's doing everything for his squad tonight. Stepping up big time. He's a big time player, playing for a big time school, Georgia Tech. Excited to see him ball out over there. J Dove for three. He's a trade ball champion for a reason, man. He can shoot that thing. Yeah, man, that was a good hit. He definitely gets a lot of shots up. Now it's just about working on accuracy, being able to hit him, knock him down consistently. I, I know he can. He puts in the work. It's just a matter of, you know, confidence, reps, and, uh, you know, getting a feel for the game a little bit more. And another thing about Darius Sutton, bro, he can run the point. Yeah. He got handles. Yeah. And he's like 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, <laughs> With a handle. Yeah. He can do everything. He's got to work on that jump shot. Got a mismatch down low with Big P. Oh, one more. The pull up. I'll tell you what. The soft touch. That is a very mature shot for it a is. freshman. It is. That is a very mature shot. That is tough. I'm looking at his pops. He don't. He does not look impressed at all. Yeah, man. He's like, hey, man. You better made it. Pops never happy, man. That's the formula to a great play. Oh. Oh no. Oh, oh big P with the block. That turnaround about to look crazy. I ain't gonna hold you. That was a tough move. So he gets the one dribble pull up with the Kawhi touch on the basket. Didn't force a three pointer. One dribble pull up to the middle. That's tough, man. That was That's me. I was tough. fortunate, man. I don't have an IQ. I thought he was gonna force that three pointer. That was what a freshman would do. Yeah. Force it up. Wow, there's a really good question. Oh my shot. goodness. Mark Somerville for three. What you got in the chat? Huh? Boy, I just lost it up. Oh. Fasty underscore for real. Cam, who was your favorite player you got to coach this past summer? You got to pick one. Oh, my goodness. He locked in right now. Favorite player to coach. For someone who played hard, I'd probably say Jay Jack. Jay Jack brought the energy every time. It didn't matter what time of day we was playing. It didn't matter how many fans were there. He played the same way every single game. So I'd probably say Jay Jack. Definitely Jay Jack for sure. Oh no! Another Again. one. He's hot. Oh, he's hot. oh good foul. Jaden Wilkins, ladies and gentlemen, has came to life in this fourth quarter. Three three-point buckets in a mid-range pull-up. He can't miss right now, Cam. And he why is he open? Young Bull, three straight threes, wide open. Come on, man. Pop still ain't cracking a smile. Yeah, those are mistakes you can't make. It's like rolling loud, man. He's hot. You can't lose him. Losing him <laughs> is insane. He just made three in a row. That's just lack of discipline. And at this next possession, he wide open again. Somebody gets up there. Actually, it, it, it's going to be a problem. I'm going Kyler Perry. I'm doing a platoon swap. I'm, I'm yeah. swapping five. Take everybody out. Everybody out. Oh, y'all going to leave him open again? Time out. Time five out. and five. Get out again. And then that's when I start pointing the crowd. Hey. Y'all gonna think about what, the, what just happened. Uh -huh. We gonna move on to the next game tomorrow. Uh -huh. yep. That's when I start uh, picking people out the crowd like, like Mike. Can you you wanna hoop? You wanna I got a neon jersey for you in the back. Hey, it's, it's like LA Fitness. Hey, we need one. Who got next? He's open again. Oh, he's open no, he's again. Wide open. He's open again. Go ahead, make the platoon he's sub. He's open again. Let's go ahead and sub. He's open again. Get How the sub going. in the world? Get the sub going, man. Can you leave open the guy? Who's made four straight threes and Cam just like that? Oh. It is an 18. Hey, so Carter Knox almost ran us over over here, man. He did. I, I would have seen. Did you get a little nervous? Yeah, man. I did a little bit too. I thought the whole time. Carter shot. Knox has an NBA body. He's yeah, a grown man. man, bro. Running full speed. Like, ooh. I'm telling you this right now, though. If, J if, if Jaden Wilkins get another three ball, I'll probably show up. He's wide open. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He is wide What's open. What's going on? Why is he wide Why open right now? Why is he open again? Why is he wide open right now? Oh my god, I mean, like, what's no going on? Oh, oh, Why is he wild? Why is he still wide open? What is going on? Has hit another three. Why are they leaving? What is going on? Yo, bro, he is hooping on, right now. Come on, another. Hey, just give him the ball. On, give him the ball. He's open again. He's open again. He's open again. Give him the ball. He's open again. Another one. No! As I 
mentioned, has to be one of the hardest working shooters in the gym. He's consistently in the gym every day, getting up shots. He's asking for the ball. Give him the ball. Give him the Oh, come on, bro. Don't stop it. Don't stop it. You got to give him the ball, bro. That was pretty selfish. Feed the hot man. Twenty. Three points on the night. He's asking for the ball. Wow. Pull it. What? No. Oh, my God. Okay. 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 okay, 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 okay. I'm not mad at it. Let's come back to life. Let's come back to life. All right. All right. Back to life. Back to reality. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm pulling okay. that, too, though. I ain't going to hold yeah, you. Yeah, I ought to put that in the air. If so. I hit nine threes in a quarter, why not pull it? But if it was me, uh, that was butter bean. Oh, oh, I ain't going to lie. That was butter bean. You're done. You're done. Why well, should have took that turnaround pull? That was insane. Yeah. You got to pass that up. Yeah, that was great. Jay Will. Jaden Wilkins with 23 points on the night. If I'm not mistaken, he's the leading scorer. The freshman. The leading scorer for the squad. For tonight. RWE. I love to see it. I love to see it. Oh, man. What an amazing, amazing story. Son of Damian Wilkins here at OTE. No. Won the Trey Ball Challenge. He's known in the building for, to be a shooter. And tonight, he stamped it. Three-pointer three after three-pointer, a couple minis, and he's only a freshman. This kid is going to be special, man. What a hot night. Just getting hot like that, bro. What do you hit, like six threes? Yeah. In a row? Come on, man. That's that's insane. That just lets you know. We talked about it. You said his name is always at the top of the list. Kids that's watching, if you put in the work when nobody's in the gym, this is what you can do when the gym is full. Look at the results. Lead us on. 23 points. Hey, I live by a quote when I used to play basketball. It goes, what you do in empty gyms can one day fill arenas. Yeah. That's a fact. Man, I'm breathless, bro. He hit that last three, bro. I lost my breath. Only a freshman. This reminds me when Drew Joyce went crazy. That might be a little too old for you when he played with Bron. Drew Joyce went off for like five threes in a national championship game with LeBron. Oh. Oh. Is he, is he gonna dunk it? As long as you don't miss it, buddy. I don't windmill it. Okay. Get down. <laughs> OTE basketball is back on Prime Video tomorrow night. Tune in to see the McDonald's All-American Carter Knox and RWE take on Jeremiah Johnson and the Diamond Doves. It all goes down tomorrow, February 2nd at 7 p.m. exclusively on Prime Video. What an amazing game tonight. RWE with the lead, 88 to 76. They take another W. And a rolling loud, take another L. Man, Cam, what a complete game from you guys tonight. Beautiful. It was beautiful. I love to see it, man. Now let's go get another dub tomorrow. Okay. All right. Get back on track. We need I, to. We've seen a complete game from a lot of players. The matchup between Carter Knox and Larry Johnson was a good one. It was a star-studded matchup from head to finish. But now we are joined for our player of the game. But over Tom, 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 take it away. Hey, fellas, I'm down here with the man of the hour. Jaden Wilkins just dropped 23 points. He got hot in that fourth quarter. What was happening there? It just, you know, once I hit one and then hit another one, it just started clicking. And it'd be good every time. It's just muscle memory. You, like, there wasn't any doubt. You felt like you were making every single one. Oh, oh, oh. And the senior point guard comes and hugs the freshman point guard. Does that feel good? The team hype for you? It feels great. You know what I'm saying? This is his last year, so I got to make it. I got to make it a good year for him. And you put in, I don't know if anyone's put in more shots downstairs on the practice gym than you. Is it paying off? Yes, it's good to see the hard work paying off, you know. That's the happiest part, you know what I'm saying? I'm just happy. And what, do we, what can we expect for the rest of the season for you and the and RWE? Same thing. I'm in a rhythm, so I just want to keep this rhythm, keep working hard, and it'll pay off. All right, man. 23 points. Crushed it. Go sign out for us, fam. 
Yes, sir. That oh, boy Jaden this one. He must be writing, I want a summer contract. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. Signing out, man. Jay Will himself. Thank you guys for tuning in. More OTE basketball. We will be back tomorrow, so make sure you mark it down on your calendars. For Cam Wilder, for Overtime Time, it's your boy Stabber Jones. Until next time, we appreciate you guys. Peace. Deuces.